Uh, let's get to the markets this Friday morning. Check the big board. We're almost at break-even point, down just four as we speak. Look at the big tech names, clearly dominated by Microsoft. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to deal. Uh, let me deal with General Electric. Profit down at 28 um, percent. Their turnaround obviously has a long way to go. And the stock is at $13 a share still. Look at Skechers, the shoe company. They put out a lousy forecast. When you do that, your stock goes down, and Skechers is down at 23%. Let me get to Microsoft. Brand new all-time high earlier today. It reached $108 per share. That's a turnaround story. Look at it now, 107.24. David Barnson's here. He's with the Barnson Group. You say that the uh, Microsoft CEO, Satya Nardella, has been, his tenure has been miraculous. I'll agree with you, David. Make your case. Well, it's, I mean, it's sort of self-explanatory, not, not only Stuart in the, in the stock price, but just the strategic revisioning of the company. And then, of course, the execution, what they've done has been remarkable. You know, my frustration as an investor is Microsoft is one of those companies that was cool tech that became old tech. And, and, and we loved it for all those years, all this dividend growth, and they had this incredible uh, utility almost around their operating system and all these free cash flows. And now they still have it all except for the dividend yield is 1.6% and it's <coughs> trading at 30 times earnings. It went from being a value stock to a growth stock again. It's, a, it's an amazing story. So should I sell it? Because everybody knows I bought some 20 years ago and held it. Oh, yeah. I mean, 20 years ago, uh, it means you didn't make money for 16 years, and then now you've made a lot of money over four years. And no, I would not necessarily be selling it, but we're not active buyers, Stuart, because as you know, we're dividend growth, value-oriented, and it doesn't meet that criteria. But with that kind of long-term embedded capital gain, I feel a little differently. I wouldn't be buying it, but, but you know, selling it in a, uh, your particular situation might be different, my friend. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing there, Bonson, but uh, laugh away, I'm son. afraid of I'm afraid of a Whoopi Goldberg situation. I don't want to get, you know, yelled at or anything. So. I would never do that. You know that. No, you uh, I want to not. talk to you about trade. Uh, President Trump's been talking about it. He's been talking about saying that he might, he could impose 500 billion uh, tariffs on $500 billion worth of Chinese imports. I, I, I didn't, it doesn't seem to me that that has any impact on the market any longer. It's a one day or momentarily blip down and then we recover. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, even in the futures market this morning from 3.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Pacific, we never really went down more than 120 points Dow. And so if anyone believes that the market is actually believing it, they're, they're obviously not seeing that validated in price. The reason, I mean, obviously, if we were talking a 25% tariff on $500 billion of product, a $125 billion tax on American economy would wipe away virtually all of the benefit of tax reform. Let's say it was more like a 10% tariff, which is what the last round is what he had uh, kind of threatened to do. That's still a $50 billion impact. So I don't, I don't believe that the market is responding, Stuart, for the very simple reason that I don't believe the market thinks it'll happen. They're seeing it as part of his negotiating process. People can like it, they can dislike it, but I don't think people actually believe it. I think you're right, because that explains why the market just doesn't tank when this kind of proposal comes out there. Mr. Barnson, despite what you had to say about Microsoft, you're a welcome guest on this program. <laughs> Um, Can't wait we'll, to be back with you. Uh, we will see you again. <laughs> yes, I was going to add that in the title. Uh, I want to get back to my.